Yeah, it is pretty late. But guys, today we are bringing to you guys another food vlog. Welcome back to us always. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe down below, turn on your post notifications. We are going to be bringing to you guys this food vlog. You guys have been asking for it, and I promise you, like, it's just we've been so busy that today's the day that we finally decide to cook. We are going to be actually showing you how I make my chicken rice. Super easy, and then we are also going to be showing you how we make the chicken breast, chickens. Wait, oh, we need cream cheese stuffed chicken wrapped in bacon. Yeah. That is so long, but but it okay. <laughs> but it's hella bomb, guys. I promise you. You guys are gonna fall in love with this. Are, yes, it's you guys are gonna too, it cooks love like it. This. If you guys are actually ready for this food vlog, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up right now. We're gonna go ahead and give you like a second. And then while you're at it, make sure to subscribe already too. First things first is I'm going to go ahead and start the rice. The rice is pretty straightforward. I still have to brown the rice, cook it in the garlic and the onion, which I will show you guys right now. First things first, I'm going to go ahead and turn on my fire. Do not judge my pan. This is my rice pan. I'm honestly like never going to change it for the world. You know when you perfect your rice on a specific like pan, that's just like your rice cooker pan that makes sense okay anyway so i'm gonna add just a little bit of oil keep it on kind of low because i'm going to be crushing up the onion and the garlic crushing you mean cutting up the onion crushing no the garlic you crush yeah. onion, onion you cut okay so i'm crushing one little garlic clove once you get that peel it and then throw it in the pan you're going to be Taking, I use yellow onion, so you're gonna just be actually just cutting like a little few pieces and then putting that into the pan. Do a cup of rice just because it's us, and then we're gonna go ahead and throw the oops. So I forget it a mess. <laughs> Once you perfect your rice in a specific pot, like don't let it go because your rice is gonna come out bomb as f every single time. So you're going to now turn your heat higher. And you're going to just brown your rice. Once you brown it, I will show you guys the next step. But just keep stirring it occasionally. Just keep stirring. Making just sure stirring. you of, don't burn your rice. Instead of just keep swimming, just keep swimming, <laughs> just keep stirring. We do have the kids back there eating ice cream or popsicle. Okay, guys, so now let's go ahead and go down the ingredients list while we have our rice browning cooking so the ingredients you will be needing is of course chicken breast a big thing of cream cheese some serranos a thing of bacon and your handy dandy hammer <laughs> that's Bob's favorite he actually just bought it for no the i bought it for the dinner because no, <laughs> normally i use um what was I using the other day? Oh, a freaking I was cup. Use, I was using like a cup or something to smash my chicken, but I was like, we're going to do the video, so I got to do it right. You know what I mean? So I got a little a meat tenderizer, meat pounder. pounder. <laughs> you also will be needing some olive oil. Also, too, guys, you guys could use either like plastic wrap, but I like to use a uh, one-gallon Ziploc bag. I put the chicken in here. Once I cut it, put it in here, and I pound it, flatten it out. So what I'm going to use, I'll show you guys later. To season your chicken, you are going to be needing garlic salt and lemon pepper. And for your rice, guys, you are only going to be needing the onion, the garlic, the rice, um, some oil, and... Where's the right cosome? Right 
And then you are going to be needing some chicken bouillon. Basically and chicken rice. That's how you make chicken rice, guys. Just add chicken bouillon. Yeah, literally. Super easy. And then some salt. This is my favorite rice, too. We are still working on the rice real quick, guys. And then I'll show you guys, like, once we get the desired color to kind of show you guys. So you see how it's already turning a bit brown? You don't want it to get burnt. So at this time is where you'll take your measuring cup again and fill it up. You're gonna put in cold water. So let me see, one, that's one cup, two cups, three cups, four cups. Dan, you put that much, so one cup of rice? Yeah. So let's go ahead and leave it at like Almost five cups of water to, to one cup of rice. I'm gonna go ahead and take me a handy dandy spoon and take my chicken bouillon and I'm going to be getting literally a spoonful. That's probably like a tablespoon. I would say like a full tablespoon and a half. And just a little bit of salt, just cause it's super salty already, like you don't wanna add too much. And then you're going to just stir it in, stir it in, make sure you mix it all in, stir it really, really good. So you're gonna lower your heat. I literally put it to level two and then you're gonna take a cap and then just cap off your rice. And just literally just let it cook, don't mess with it. I will come in and stir it one more time. And whenever it starts like really boiling up, that's when you wanna give it one good mix and then just close it off again. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut off in little sides. So, so Bo's going to be demonstrating like how he does the chicken. Yeah, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna thinly slice it, like not too thin, but a little thin, so. Just like such. So basically like halfway, halfway through because the chicken nah, breast is thick. Not halfway. Look, so it's about this. It's about that thickums. Make sure you guys so, have a sharp knife when you're doing so this. So here's another one right here. So this one, I'm not going to do nothing with it really. Uh, you know what? I'll go ahead and cut it. The kids will probably, I'll make a baby one for the kids. Be careful guys because you are cutting into your hand. Like that. Boom. See that? And then. That's beautiful. So I could probably get one more out of this one. Let's go ahead and cut this little extra piece off there. Yeah. This one. Yeah, I gotta keep it like this. Maybe take off a little bit right here. I don't want it too thickums. Put that right there. So Bo actually is going to do that for probably like three or four. It's probably just do three because it's only four of us and we normally eat like two each, maybe three. Like I said, I put my hand on the meat and then as I'm going, I lift the back of my hand up so I don't cut it. You gotta be careful, y'all. Like I said, once again. So now I'm gonna go ahead and get the Ziploc bag. All right, now so what I'm gonna do is I got my Ziploc. What I like to do is I cut this edge like this so it's easier for me to get in and out of the bag. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my piece of chicken Put it in the bag, right about dead center like this. See that there? Now you want to go ahead and grab your little mallet and uh, 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 and pound it out just to, just to flatten it out like this. See, perfect. Now we don't make a mess on your kitchen counter, and then boom, nice and flat. Repeat the process like I said to all of our chicken. The reason why you want to pound the chicken kind of thinner guys is because we're going to be placing the cream look cheese at, inside and you're going to be rolling it. How perfect. Look at it. Yeah. It's going to roll like this and then you're going to wrap it in bacon. Like if you have too thick of a chicken, it's just going to take hella long to cook. Repeat the process to all the meats. I'm going to show you guys this last one. Flatten it out and then just... Flatten it out. You don't want the chicken too thick either. Like you don't want it hella thick, you know what I mean? That's what we're saying. You yeah. want it kind of like thinner to make it easier to roll and then when you cook it, it's nice. You are basically going to repeat the process to all the chicken that you have cut and then we'll show you guys the next also, step after. Also too guys, just, I don't know, like I said, we have towel on our counter and if I was to hit this without the board, I'm pretty sure I'd break the tile. Break the tile. So just make sure you have something under the chicken. That's 
how you pound good meat. Okay guys, so you see how the rice is boiling up like this? Now is the time when you're gonna wanna give it one good last little mix. You're gonna go ahead and just cover it up and now wait for it to finish. And it's actually been about 10 minutes, so that's kind of the estimate that broke off. Now you're going to be taking your cream cheese, dumping it into a bowl. I probably should have got a bigger bowl. But we're gonna go ahead and leave it like that to the side because now you're gonna take your serranos and you're going to thinly chop it, guys. So the way I like to cut it is I make lines straight through and then do it to the other side. Just make sure each side is cut and then you're gonna just chop it. So we have a 16 ounce cream cheese and Maria is adding three serranos to it. You guys can add more if you want. If you guys like it really spicy, go ahead and feel free to add more, but because the kids do eat this and they don't like it too, too spicy, we just put enough to add a little hint. And that shit is bomb. Well, we end up eating it with a chile, like me and Bo, because we like stuff like really, really spicy. We did with Thai chiles on the side. Yeah, super fire. I'm gonna go ahead and just put it all in a bowl. And then you're gonna just mix it. Mix it all up. Mm, you could actually just put that in a tortilla, a flour, a flour tortilla, and that shit is bomb right there. If you never had it like that, ooh, try it. I yeah. promise you that shit. Ooh, or on a bagel too? Bomb. Oh, I never tried it in a bagel. On a bagel would be bomb, huh? Yeah, I think you just did something. <laughs> Go into the store and get bagels. All the cream cheese gonna be gone when I get back. <laughs> what? Yeah, mama. Okay, so you see how you just start mixing it and then it just starts mixing in. So I feel like three serranos were perfect because mommy. you kind of get one with every bite. Okay, I went ahead and added foil to my cookie sheet. So now I'm gonna open up the bacon because this is the fun part, right? This is when we actually start wrapping up our chicken. This is when the good stuff happens. When the good stuff happens. This is when all the concoctions come together and it just comes to life. The whole, like, you see how it's just plain and basic? Like, that chicken's basic right now. Yeah, like, this is bowl right now. I'm gonna show you what I am. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you're gonna take your garlic salt, guys, and you're gonna just season one side of the chicken with your garlic salt, and then you're gonna put lemon pepper. You're gonna turn it over and then put garlic salt and then lemon pepper. These two mixes are so freaking good. You're gonna season this chicken like all the way through, like with all your pieces of chicken. And I actually do it one by one. You're gonna stack it, bam. Ooh, a little bit of garlic what salt. What I love about using garlic salt, guys, is that it's not too salty. Uh, it can be. If you put a shitload, it could be salty, but. Yeah, majority of the time it's not really salty. You have to legit put a lot, a lot. Yeah. Because the sodium on this isn't as high. Like it's high, but it's not like as high. And then I feel like the, the lemon pepper just adds like that taste to it. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna repeat this through all your chicken breasts. All right guys, so also too, while Maria is actually seasoning up the meat and getting it all ready, I'm gonna go ahead and preheat the, pre the oven to 400 guys. So 400, just remember that for now, 400. Now that we have our chicken all seasoned up, I'm gonna go ahead and just put it on here. Take a little spoonful of cream cheese and just Ooh. roll away, guys. Roll. So roll it up. So it should look like that. And then you're gonna take a piece of bacon and you're gonna wrap it. Kind of having one to the bottom, that way when it starts like unraveling or something, it kind of just stays on there and then just tuck it in. You don't need toothpicks or anything. See? And then put it on the cooking sheet. There you go. There's one. And then you're gonna take another spoonful. Look at how bomb it looks already. Just let's just eat it already. I know, I'm freaking starving. I'm well, that's starving. That's a nice big piece right there. That's mine. <laughs> Just wrap it. This is kind of like chicken le cordon bleu, but without all the other the shit. The what? They call chicken le cordon bleu. What's that? Kind of like this. You you flatten out chicken like that. You cut it and then you stuff it with shit and you oh, bake it. Shit. See, I never even knew that was what it was called. It's kind of the same thing, but a little different. This is just better. <laughs> it is freaking fire. 
Make sure, guys, whoever cooks this to tag us on all social media so we can repost it. Yeah. Ooh. Bomb. I know everybody's gonna go over there and cook this. This is tomorrow's dinner. Yeah, this is bomb. Oh, that's a baby. That's Serenity's. So, hey, tell them, babe, how much Serenity actually eats this. Oh, yeah, she loves this. You guys are gonna see at the end right now. Watch. We hey. just cut it up for her and she'll sit there and grub on it. You know what? I think because when I was pregnant with Serenity, that girl loves her meat. Like, no freaking lie. Yeah, she likes asada, she likes steak, she likes chicken, ground beef. Like, anything, she'll eat any type of meat. Bacon. So, I just turned off the rice. So, this is what you're looking for. So, you know your rice is done when you crack it open and it's dry at the bottom. Okay? So, that's how you know your rice is done. And it's nice and fluffy. So, this is what it's looking like. So, now you're going to take your olive oil and you're basically going to drizzle olive oil... And then you're going to take a little bit more of your garlic salt. And then now your lemon pepper. Now it is ready to be popped into the oven, guys. Look how delicious this looks. And it's not even cooked yet. Fire, guys. All right, guys. So Bo is about to pop it in the oven. At 400 degrees, guys. 400 like YG so, honey. So how long are you gonna leave it baking for? Uh, probably like 10 to like 15 minutes once the chicken, like I see the chicken's done. And then I'll put it on broil just to get the bacon a little crispy. Okay, but you'll show them that, right? Yeah. So it's been baking for about 10 to 15 minutes. You could already tell that the chicken is starting to be done. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put the oven on broil and then broil it for about five minutes just to get everything on top nice and crispy. So Bo said it is ready to be pulled out the oven and man, Guys. does that look freaking delicious. Guys. Are you excited to eat? Daddy said he's gonna give me a Mickey Mouse. Um, man, okay. He's, so he's this is what it should look like the finished product, don't worry. It just oozed out because of the heat, but you just scoop it up and then add it to the side. Oh, fire. I am so hungry, guys. Like, I am ready to eat this whole tray. Is it good? Take a bite. It's hot. You blowing it? Yeah, take a bite. Here you go, Damien. Guys, this is what I got for my birthday last time, but now it's old. Yep. Yeah. Try it, Mama. Take a bite. Bomb? Yeah. Damon, try it. Bomb? You love it, huh? I love bomb. You want bomb? Yeah, I Careful, it might be hot, okay? Okay. <laughs> bomb? Whoa. JJ in the house. Alright, JJ. You need to do a taste test? Good. Bomb? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Oh, your turn to try? My Whoa. Turn. Wow. My turn. Oh, it all fell. <laughs> Bruh. Bruh. My turn. Oh, your turn? Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. If you guys like us and you like it really spicy, okay. so what we eat it with is Thai chilies. You get these at like your local Asian market. Your hair, baby. Walmart even has these too. I put some cream cheese on the outside of my chicken. Look at this. How was your first bite, babe? My fork. Bombs. And then you eat it with the low. Bomb. This rice is by far my favorite rice. Like, mm. this chicken rice is bomb. Look at this. Look at this. That is freaking fire. And then with the chiles? <laughs> a hitter. It's nice. for sure a hitter. So if you guys do decide to try out this recipe, tag us on IG stories, Twitter. You guys will love the rice too, I promise. Can you? No. This rice with this goes perfect. Mm, yes, Look at that. Look at it. You made it a mess. You're worse than the kids. Babe, you're totally making a mess all over my phone. Make sure to tag us, guys. We love to see how you remake it. Let us know how you guys love it. If you have tried it, let us know down below in the comments. But 
We're gonna finish eating and then we'll go ahead and close out the video. So hopefully y'all really did enjoy this food vlog. We gave you a two for one. We gave you the rice and we gave you the chicken. Well, I mean, not really two for one because that's how we eat it with the meal. Yeah, but we never give you like the Mexican rice, the salsa with the carne. You because me? this is what it goes with it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, everybody knows how to make Mexican rice. We just feel like this is like such an easy recipe that you can literally knock out in like 20 minutes. Yeah. You know, we got the kids to bed guys. We got ourselves showered up because you already know we in a food coma Now me and Bo are trying to have some adult time You gotta watch a movie. I was trying to make some more babies <laughs> But we really hope that you guys really did enjoy it Let us know if you guys do try it out and yeah Hopefully you enjoyed I said that so many times huh? Don't forget to comment, share, like, and subscribe. And if you haven't shopped at us always merch, make sure to do so. Our link is always in the description. Also, too, if you haven't already make sure follow us on all social medias, our handles are listed down below. But right, before we to completely end this video. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Stop. <laughs> but before we to completely end this video. What are you doing? No. <laughs> but before we Why are you laughing? But before we do completely end this video, our post notification shout out goes to... Goes to Karen Aguirre. <laughs> shout out to you. And if you guys do want a future post notification shout out, all you have to do is... Please subscribe to our channel, turn your post notification on, hit the little bell, bing, and comment some salute. We love you guys, and we'll see you guys in our next video. Deuces. Matter of fact, you in my heart. Quit playing, why you acting all shy? You know I wanted to f when I talk, it's a slut. Hey, shut that it's full of real one. Slick talk, got your feet to the ceiling. Say my name around your girl now. She yeah, yeah, yeah. Girl, I'm so in love with you. I stole at the cloud with you. Give you kissing high you. Spend the rest of my life with you. Girl, I put that on the Bible. I'm gonna spend all my time with you. Girl, I always acknowledge you. Standing at